Hello everyone, welcome to Power Electronics lecture series. In today's video, we are going to solve problems on series and parallel connection of SCR. So basically we will be looking at four different numericals and after solving these problems, you will get greater amount of confidence to approach any type of problems with respect to series and parallel connection of SCR. So let's get started. So first and foremost important thing before solving any problem is you need to make sure you have all the formulas with you. So I will be basically listing the formulas over here so you can make a note of it. And this formula number six was derived in parallel connection, isn't it? So we basically just uh, directly wrote the expression over there. So this is also another important expression that you need to make a note of. Apart from that, all these expressions, the first three expressions were detailedly derived and we also saw the definitions of derating factor and n in our previous videos. Now let's get started with problem number one. So let us first try to understand what the problem is all about and gather the requirements and from there it will be very easy for us to approach these type of problems. So they've given how many SCRs are required in a series connected string to withstand a DC voltage of 3500 volt in steady state. If the SCRs having steady state voltage rating of 1000 volt and steady state derating factor of 30%, assuming maximum differences in leakage current of SCRs to be 10 milliampere, calculate the value of voltage sharing resistors to be used. So what they have asked us, the first and foremost question is to find the number of SCRs connected in series. The second question is find the value of voltage sharing resistors that is the value of R. So these are the two important things that we need to determine. Before that, a first and foremost important thing is to write down the given parameters. So this will ensure we don't go wrong anywhere with respect to this problem. So they have given Vs to be equal to 3500 volt. They have given in steady state, isn't it? So the Vs is given as 3500 volt. Next, they have given us the value of VD1 that is 1000 volt. So make a note of it. Apart from that, they have given the derating factor in percentage as 30%. So D in terms of percentage is given as 30%. And then they have given us delta ID, which is basically the leakage current of SCRs to be equal to 10 milliampheres. So once this is done, first step is to find the value of n, isn't it? Number of series connected SCR. So for that, what we will be doing is, we will be calculating the value of n from the expression percentage d is given by is equal to one minus Vs whole divided by n into Vd1 into 100, isn't it? So in this particular expression, if you substitute the value of D that is 30 into one minus Vs is nothing but 3500 divided by, you have to find the value of N, keep it as it is and into thousand, that is the value of Vd1 into hundred. Substituting and solving this expression, you will be getting N is equal to five. So there are five VCRs connected in series in the string. So basically we have solved the first portion of this problem. Now we need to find step two, that is basically the resistor value, isn't it? To find R. How do we do that? We already have the formula for R, isn't it? R is equal to N into VD1 minus Vs whole divided by n minus 1 into delta id, isn't it? Now when we substitute the value of n which we have found 5 into vd1 that is 1000 minus vs that is 3500 whole divided by 5 minus 1 that is 4 into delta id that is 10 into 10 power minus 3 we will be getting the value of R to be equal to 37.5 kilo ohm. 
So we have found the value of n, we have found the value of r. So basically this solves the requirement for this particular question. So we are done with problem number one. I hope you have understood the procedure that we have followed. That is very, very important. Now we will be looking at problem number two, which has a very big statement. But trust me, this problem is very, very simple. So they have mentioned 10 thyristors are used in a string to withstand a DC voltage of Vs is equal to 10, 15 kilovolt. They themselves have given N is equal to 10 over here. They have given us the value of Vs, the maximum leakage current and recovery charge differences of thyristor that is delta ID is given as 10 milliampheres and delta Q the value is given as 150 micro coulomb respectively. Each thyristor has a voltage sharing. They have given us the value of R. They have given us the value of C. So what are they actually trying to expect from us? So they are asking the question to find out the value of VDS max, maximum steady state voltage sharing, steady state voltage sharing derating factor, maximum transient voltage sharing VDT max, and finally they are asking the transient voltage derating factor. So at the first place, let us write down the given parameters, isn't it? So that will simplify the approach in which we have to solve this particular problem. So they have given us the value of n to be equal to 10. They have given us the value of Vs that is to be equal to 15 kilovolt. They have given us the value of delta ID which is equal to 10 milliampheres. They have also given us the value of the change in charge that is delta Q as 150 micro coulomb. They have given us the value of R to be equal to 56 kilo ohm. They have given us the value of C to be equal to 0.5 microfarad. So now at the first place we need to start off with step number one to find the value of maximum voltage sharing, isn't it? So maximum voltage sharing is given as basically they have asked us to find the value of VDS max. So this is basically the substitution of the formula that is VD1. So we know VD1 is equal to VDS max in this case. This is the maximum voltage sharing that is possible. So they have basically just twisted the question but nothing but you have to find the value of VD1 over here. So NS minus 1, NS is basically the number of series connected ACR, R into delta ID whole divided by N. So N or NS. Now when we substitute the value of Vs, NS minus 1, R delta ID and the value of NS, you will be getting VDS max over here as the value to be equal to 2004 volt. So we have found out the step number one. Now what is step number two? What is the parameter that we have to find out? So step number two is to find out steady state derating factor. Isn't it? So steady state derating factor as a standard formula that we know. That is nothing but you have D is equal to 1 minus Vs whole divided by N or Ns into Vd1. You have 1 minus Vs is nothing but 15 kilovolt that is 15 into 10 power 3 whole divided by 10 into Vd1 which is given as 2004. So you will be getting the value to be equal to 25 0.15% so basically you need to multiply this value into 100 which I have not shown here but once you do you will be getting 25.15% I hope this point is clear now we need to find step number 3 which is basically transient voltage sharing isn't it so what is transient voltage sharing so this is also a pretty simple and straightforward substitution. So the transient voltage sharing in order to find this we have VD1 formula is equal to VDT max that we have to find 
so this has a slight variation in the formula this particular equation we would have seen during the derivation n minus 1 into delta q whole divided by c instead of delta id into r we can write that as delta vd in this particular formula delta vd can be written as delta q by c according to the capacitor basic fundamental relationship so that is where you will be getting this formula in the derivation we had seen this isn't it now when you substitute all these values that is basically you will be getting the transient voltage sharing maximum value as so you will be getting the value to be equal to 1770 volt now we will be finding the final part of the question that is transient derating factor so step 4 is to find out transient derating factor so transient derating factor so this is given by the formula that is t is equal to 1 minus vs whole divided by n into vd1 this is the same formula as this isn't it then what is the difference you might be asking over here we will be substituting the value of vd1 that is with respect to transient voltage sharing and not this particular value that we had found previously so be very careful a lot of students will go wrong in this particular step so vs is given by 15 into 10 power 3 whole divided by n into vd1 which is basically 10 into 1770 you will be getting the value in terms of percentage as 15.25 percent i hope this point is clear so these are the parameters that they had asked us in this question and we had found all of these. I hope this problem is very simple and straightforward. Now let us look at problem number 3 which has the statement as follows. They have given a string of series connected ACRs is to withstand a DC voltage of 16 kV. That means that is basically Vs. The maximum leakage current and recovery charge differences of the thyristors are 10 mA and 100 micro coulomb respectively. The derating factor for steady state and transient voltage sharing are 20% for a maximum steady state voltage sharing of 10 kilo, 1 kV. Basically, they have given us the value of VD1 that is 1 kV. They are asking us to find out the steady state voltage sharing resistor R for each thyristor and transient voltage capacitance C1 for each thyristor. So, basically, we need to find the value of R and C1 in this particular question. So at the first place, let us follow our usual process of writing the given parameters at one place. So we have given parameters as Vs is equal to 16 kV. We have delta ID which is given as 10 mA. They have given us the value of delta Q which is equal to 100 micro coulomb. They've also given us percentage D derating factor as 0.2 or 20%. They've given us the value of VD1 to be equal to 1 kV. Now to find the value of R, we need to know the value of N which is not given, isn't it? So for that, what we will be doing is, step number 1 will be to find R. But to find R, we need the value of N. So we'll be using the derating factor formula that is D is equal to 1 minus Vs whole divided by N into Vd1. So in this particular question, if you substitute and you will be getting the value of N to be equal to Vs whole divided by 1 minus D into Vd1. Now when you're substituting the value of Vs that is 16 into 10 power 3 whole divided by 1 minus 0.2 in terms of normal value and not in percentage and into 1000 is what they have given. So simplifying you will be getting the value of n to be equal to 20. In case you get a you don't get a whole number you just round it off to the nearest value as far as possible. Now the value of r can be found out by the formula n into vd1 minus Vs whole divided by 
n minus 1 into delta id. So you have the value of r after simplifying this particular expression 21.052 kilo ohms. So this is the value of r. Now step number 2 is to find the value of c. This is pretty simple and straightforward, isn't it? So the value of c can be found out as c is equal to n minus 1 into delta q whole divided by you have n into vd1 minus vs. So we have n to be equal to 20 minus 1 into delta q which is given as 100 into 10 power minus 6 whole divided by 20 into 1 into 10 power 3 minus vs that is 16 into 10 power 3. Substituting and solving you will be getting the value of c to be equal to 0.475 microfarad. So this is the value of c. So we have found out the value of r, we have found out the value of c which is basically our requirement. So we have done with this problem. Now let us solve an interesting problem with respect to parallel connection. So they have given two SCRs are connected in parallel supplying the current of 600 amperes. Voltage drop across T1 and T2 is 1.5 and 1 volt respectively. For a current difference of 10%, the resistance connected in series with each SCR is. So basically they are mentioning that there are two SCRs connected in parallel in this particular fashion. So we had a resistor R when we saw the theoretical concept of it and we had another resistor here and thyristors connected in parallel in this particular fashion. You have T1, you have T2. This is R, this is R. So basically they have given us the value of VT1 that is nothing but 1.5 volt. They have given us the value of VT2 that is nothing but 1 volt. The total current that is flowing is 600 amps I1 and if you assume this as I2 so they are mentioning the total current is 600 amps but the difference in current that is I2 minus I1 is 10% of the total current indirectly 10% of 600 amps isn't it that means I2 minus I1 is basically 60 amps we don't want to worry about I1 and I2 here individually because we only want the difference. So when they're given it in terms of difference percentage, we can directly substitute for the formula. We know R is equal to Vt1 minus Vt2 whole divided by I2 minus I1. So we have 1.5 minus 1 whole divided by 60 amps. You will be getting 1 by 120 ohms as the value of R. So this is how you need to approach problems with respect to parallel connection of SERs. I hope in this video you were able to clearly understand how do you approach to solve problems on series and parallel connection of SER and you understood all the four problems that we have seen in this particular video. In case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below.